Chef Champion here to take you on a culinary journey I promise you've never been before. I'm here to help mold you, shape you, motivate you, and most importantly, inspire you into cooking like a champion. I'm Chef Champion, but my friends call me Ace. Welcome to the new age of culinary learning. Cook like a champion on this great station. So, my friends out in Shelburne's Creamery challenged me to make a different cheese curve. And I Googled everywhere, and ironically, I couldn't find any cheese curve recipe, so I had to do my own. So obviously, I didn't want to do traditional beer batter, and there was actually a, a spread cheese company that just came out with the port wine cheese. So I said, hey, I think port would go well. Nice sweetness with the saltiness from the cheese curd. I think it'll go well, so we'll try it out, see how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and make the batter. We just wanna start off with one egg. Give that a nice little mix. And then we're gonna do equal portions, about a half a cup of buttermilk and about a half a cup of port wine. Buttermilk. Give that a nice mix. So what you want to do is take your cheese curves and actually put them right into that mixture. Just give them a nice toss. And then they're actually going to go Make sure you get all that liquid off of them before you go into the batter. You don't want to get your batter all clunky, that's for sure. And then for the batter, remember what I said, rule of thumb, make sure you season the batter. We're actually gonna spice it up a little bit. Put just a few crushed red peppers in there. And my crushed red peppers in there, I'm gonna add in a little bit of basil. Add a little bit of that to the batter too as well. A little bit of Cajun season. Add a little bit of that to the batter as well. And then finish it up with a little bit of garlic. Add that to the batter. Now put this in there. there go. Just give that a nice mixture. And then with the cheese curds, you're gonna go right back into the flour. Remember earlier in the earlier segment, I showed you how to do the deep fried alligator. Same concept, literally the same batter, dry and wet. We're just gonna to toss those cheese curds and then throw them back into our wet batter. And I'm using white cheddar and dark cheddar. They, they just make for just an excellent cheese curve. By all means, whatever curds you want to use, you can play around with them. Sometimes they make like lemon dill cheese curds, and you can do that. And that way it adds a little bit of flavor to it already. Then always remember you got one hand for your dry, one hand for your wet. So in your left hand, you just want to give those a nice little toss right into that egg mixture. and then make sure most of the majority of that liquid is out of it. And then we're gonna go right back into the actual flour dry batter. Whenever you double batter it, it just gives so much of a nice crispier flavor. Um, I just love it, especially with your fried chicken. So we'll go over to our deep fryer. I have my deep fryer set at about 350. Understand the bigger the curves are, you might have to drop it down a little bit because you definitely want the cheese curve to melt all the way through. So I'm just gonna set the cheese curves in there. One at a time. This could seem like it's a little bit tedious, but people in the Midwest, hey, this is a delicacy right here. Take the time to make it right. All right, we'll go ahead and finish these off too. Woo. So you just really, just really just want to make sure that you go always roll a thumb whenever you're doing most fried foods. You just go flour, egg wash batter, and then go right back into the flour. And then you'll have a nice crispy coated whatever you want to have. 
Don't you guys love how I'm doing, you guys, America? I'm not using all these exotic ingredients. I've literally just used the same thing for the last one. So when you make your fry, you definitely just make two batches because obviously I don't want to cross-contaminate them. But um, same ingredients. I mean, if you don't have flour and egg in your home, then you must not be cooking. And if you ain't cooking, then you should be continuing to watch this show because we got to get you cooking like a champion. goodness look at that gooey chewy goodness we're gonna finish frying up the rest of these cheese curds we're gonna take a quick break and we'll come right back and put it all together so I'll see you in a minute and last but not least these cheese curds I think I'll try the white cheddar mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. That is good stuff. You guys gotta see this. You see how nicely the curd just melts right in there? It's almost like a mozzarella stick, but not. So, I think I gotta get one more bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, you guys our very first Cajun Fried out here in the Midwest at Amon Green's house, doing it big. Go big or go home, you guys. Remember to always stay positive in the kitchen. Never say that you can't do anything. All of this food that I made for, um, for you right now, I know for sure you can go home and you can nail it. So cook like a champion in the kitchen. We'll see you next week for another episode. Take care.